for Chester. Chester came to live a green bush swamp. It seems like the perfect place for a crocodile to live. But because Chester was the only crocodile there, he soon felt left out. As a matter of fact, he felt terribly left out. On Monday, a pair of rainbow lorikeets played fly and seek. Can I fly too? asked Chester. Absolutely not, squawked one lorikeet. What would a frumpy crocodile like you know about flying? said the other as she fanned out her wings. I may be different, but I'm certainly not frumpy, replied Chester. Anyway, he thought, one day I just might fly. On Tuesday, a flock of black necked storks hurtled over water lilies. Can I hurdle too? asked Chester. Absolutely not, snapped a stork. What would a clumsy crocodile like you know about hurdling? said another as she leaped over a lily pad. I may be different, but I'm certainly not clumsy, replied Chester. Anyway, he thought, one day I just may hurdle. On Wednesday evening, under a starlight sky, a family of bush of brush-tailed possums raced up a eucalyptus tree. Can I race too? protested a possum. What would a doopy crocodile like you know about racing? said another as she scampered up and down and around the branches. I may be different, but I certainly am not doopy, replied Chester. Anyway, he thought, one day I just might race. On Thursday, and a cluster of bats swung in the breeze. Can I swing too? asked Chester. Absolutely, N-O-T, yawned one bat. What would a crocodile like you know about swinging? said another as she swayed back and forth. I may be different, but I'm certainly not gawky, replied Chester. Anyway, he thought, one day I just may swing. On Friday, a school of catfish performed somersaults. Can I somersault? asked Chester. Absolutely not, sniggered a fish. What would an awkward crocodile like you know about somersaulting? said another as he backflipped through the air. I may be different, but I'm certainly not awkward, replied Chester. Anyway, he thought, one day I just might somersault. On Saturday, the animals played bush ice spy together. Can I play too? asked Chester. Absolutely not, they shouted. And that was that. On Sunday, the sun blazed high up in the sky like a fireball. All was calm at Greenbush Swamp until someone shouted fire fire the sky grew darker and darker everyone panicked the lorikeet squawked and squawked the storks flapped and fluttered the possum scampered and scurried the bats shrieked and screeched the fish wriggled and jiggled, but Chester was different. He did not panic. Instead, he flew out of the swamp. He hurtled over the water lilies. He raced up the tallest eucalyptus tree. He swung from one branch to the next. He somersaulted, not once, not twice, but three times. Chester sailed through the air and then he belly flopped into the swamp with a splishy, sploshy splash, swishing and swashing until the fire was put out.
The lorikeets looked at the storks. The storks looked at the possums. The possums looked at the bats. The bats looked at the fish. Then they all looked at Chester. Hooray for Chester! Hip, hip, hooray! They shouted. Chester was a hero. He was awarded the Greenbush Swamp Bravery Medal and Chester never felt left out again. Hooray for Chester.